Hey my macadamians, how you doing? It's your girl Denise Mackey. I am here today with a new video. I'm going to do some arts and crafts today. Um, what I'm going to be working on is coasters today because I have glass tables in my living room and I'm going to put an insert a picture somewhere in here. But I have glass tables in my living room and I am taught of everybody sitting there cups or glasses on my glass table and leaving rings so I said you know what I'm gonna make myself some coasters stay tuned we'll be right back Okay, so we're back. We're back, my macadamias. So, as I stated at first, in the beginning, these are the these are the coasters, the wood pieces that I'm going to use to make coasters for my glass table, my glass living room table, um, because I don't want to leave glass rings from my guests or family members using or drinking from a glass and then they sit it on the glass and risk leaving you know um rings or residue from the glass on the table and i also don't want to risk the glass clashing or chipping my glass table so i got these wood blocks um they're very thin um I would say maybe a half inch thick, um, maybe less than that, um, from the dollar store. And they're just thin pieces of wood that have already been shaped and cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these um, rub-on transfers and I'm going to place it on here. And what I'm going to do is take some Mod Podge and paint over it to seal it and then well before I do all of that I want to paint the edges black because I'm going for the the mood the mood trend you know with the black the grays and the naturals I'm going to go with that trend um, that's what I'm going for anyway don't know how it's going to turn out but we're going to see what we're going to do um, and I apologize guys for my workstation I have everything here because I have several projects going on in my mind at one time and I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. So here I decided to go with the coasters. So just join me and um, we'll see how everything go from here. So we're going to open it up and everything I pretty much have I'm using comes from the dollar store, the dollar tree. Everything is a buck and twenty-five. But actually, before I actually put this on here, I'm going to paint my sides. And what I'm going to do is count. I'm going to make six coasters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to sit these to the side because I'm not going to use them. But these are the six I'm going to use. And I'm going to sit this to the side real quick right over here give myself some space and I'm gonna sit this here because I'm gonna talk to you about this in a second but before we get to that part I just want to paint my sides black and that's gonna be my that's gonna be my um, my black and neutral I'm running out of black guys but it's enough. it should be enough for me to do what I want to do. Let's try that one more time. Bring that black down. Come on down, black. I hope you all like my jazz in the background. Jazz makes me feel mellow. 
I love jazz. Not all jazz, just the like the soft jazz. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna come back, okay? Okay guys, we are back. And I have finished all the sides. Um, some of them are a little messy, but it's okay because um, this is for my own personal use. And I'm not a perfectionist. I don't have to have it I just wanted to serve its purpose. However, um, this is a great project. Um, if you want to create or do yourself a DIY um, for gifts, I know the economy is a little crazy and prices are sky high. And it's not always easy to go shopping for the holidays. Um, some people really get all bent out of shape or really get down in the press over the holidays because they don't have enough money and they can't get the gifts you want well because we are everyone you know is feeling the pinch why don't this holiday you decide to do some diys and some make some gifts yourself um you know the saying is it's not what you give it's the thought that counts and Oh, by the way, before I go any further, I decided to take some coffee and to stain the 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 um, wood as well, just to give it a little darker. Oh, that black is coming off a little bit, but it's okay because um, it gives it a richer look. It gives it a little richer color so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna add coffee to it just to darken the wood a little bit to give it that mood look the trend that is out now the mood um the black and the browns i'm gonna let that sit let that dry i should have probably let the black dry a little bit but i think it don't even matter because it was dry but when i hit it with the water this is coffee by the way coffee and water and it makes causing the black to smear a little bit but it's okay because when it's all done it's gonna look nice it's gonna look nice gonna let that let it dry a little bit Give it that earthy look. But like I was saying, this will be a good project, a nice project. And you might say, well, I'm not good at arts and crafts. Look, once upon a time, you had to be, you had to be an expert. These days, you don't have to be an expert. Imperfection is art. Okay? Imperfection is art. So, make it happen. Take pride in what you're doing. And you'd be, you be amazed that if you are one of them people that get a little down or a little heavy and a little sad around the holidays, you know, um... 
The holidays kind of get to me too a little bit because I lost my daughter the day after Thanksgiving. So every time around this holiday and I'm raising her daughter and she's just turned 18 but she's still a baby. You know, they don't have it all together just because they turn 18. But I'm choosing to be happy because I know my daughter will want me to. She will want us to be happy and she will want us to celebrate around the holidays. That is beautiful. Can y'all see this? It's gorgeous. Wait till I actually it dries. But I'm gonna use my um I'm gonna use my heat heat gun to try to um, dry it faster. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for the tacks. I'm going to put little feet on there so when it lay on the table it doesn't um, we're going to move this out the way. When it lays on the table, it doesn't um, scratch the table. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy heat gun. This is my handy dandy heat gun. I've showed this in other videos. It is the Chandler heat gun, Chandler tool heat gun. I don't even remember where I got this. I believe I got this off of Amazon. Y'all hear my holiday jazz? Alright. So we're going to turn. Oh, that was hot. Alright, we're going to see if we can dry it a little bit. And I did both sides. Um, even though I'm going to put pork on the back of one side. It's drying. I'm burning my fingers. So we're heating, we're heating up the, um, I mean drying the, the coaster. They lighten up a little bit because it's drying, but it still looks stained. And it doesn't have to be 100% dry because I'm going to put some Mod Podge on there. And then I'll be drying it again with the heat, the heat gun. This is my first time doing this, guys. I'm not an expert, but you live and you learn by trial and error. 
and I'm just showing you what works and what's okay for me. Because again, I said I'm going to use this for my table, my personal living room table, coffee table. I'm going to use this for my personal coffee table. Now, I have two of these, so I'm going to put one over there. I'm going to open this up and see which one I want to put on each one. Each one is going to be different. Have a different message, and I love that. All right, let's put this right here. Let me get a drink of water, guys. My workstation is my multi-purpose room. You know, slash laundry, slash catch-all, slash storage. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what... That's what, what, that's what we're working with. All right, let's see if we can use this. All right, this one says, happiness is homemade. Happiness is homemade. Let me see. I didn't look to see how I do this. Give me one second, guys. Okay, it's saying that I have to rub this on here. Let me see. I should have bought. I should have bought my thingamajig from upstairs, but I didn't. Let me see if I can use this. Coming off, guys. I need that thing I got upstairs, though. I would do stuff like this, I forget that I'm on camera and I just get all into it. Goodness gracious. This is a lot of work, guys. Let me see something.
Ooh. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful, guys. Then I'm gonna put some Mod Podge on there to seal it. So we are gonna do each one one at a time. That was a lot of work. Elbow, elbow. That was a lot of elbow right there, guys. This one is next, Simply Blessed. Simply Blessed. Isn't that nice? All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Let's see what we're working with. Working with. Nope, not quite. My wine's still on there. Gotta get the rest of that wine. And the L. That's why you should take it off at the corner and just take your time to make sure instead of pulling it all the way up. Nope, my wire's still not on there. It just takes a lot of patience. I see that my E's still on there. And part of my S. Not bad, not bad, but it's good. It's okay for me. It's okay for me. All right. So what's the next one we're gonna do? Let's put out this card out. We're gonna do. Put a little bit of. Um, whoops, sorry. Leaves. Everything don't have to have something to say. We can just do some leaves. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Let's use this. This was working. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. It's gonna be a lovely set on my table. And I'm gonna show you all what, uh, the next project I'm telling you guys. 
and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you when I put it all together in my living room. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Just trying to spruce up my space a little bit. I want to um, change my furniture around, but I gotta really be in the mood to do that because that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And I don't mind doing it, but I gotta be ready to do it. Cause when I do it, I don't wanna finish until it's done. Plus I wanna do a little spruce up with some paint, you know, with the grandkids and put their hands all on the wall and you keep wiping and wiping it. And then at the while, the wiping don't work anymore. So you need to put another coat of paint in those areas. So, that's what I want to do. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful with the black tips on the wood grain? Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Let me see if I can hold them all up together. Can y'all see that? Let me bring it up close. Hope you can see it. That is gorgeous. I got my glue gun on. It's hot, so I'm trying to be careful. All right, so what's next? Family is everything. Should we go with that? Family is everything or love, peace, and joy? Um, let's see. Home is a little too long. But I could break the letters up and put H-O-M-E or H-O-M-E. I could do that. I could do that. You know, that would be a good idea. Well, let's do this one first. Love, joy, and peace. That's beautiful. This will make a beautiful gift for Christmas, guys. Something you can do. And if some of you don't want to do it, or you want me to do it for you, I will. Of course, you know. Um, Thomas Mugle, so of course. If you want to order it through me, I'll make it and you pay me to do it. I'll do it for you. For those of you that think you can do it, but I know you can. Actually, I'm thinking about making a couple of these and putting it on Facebook Market. what I'm thinking about doing if you think that would be a good idea if you think these look nice enough for me to put on Facebook market and make a couple of these um, tell me what you think put in the comments what you think you think I can I can get away with making these and selling them um, on Facebook market they're handmade so they're not going to be you know perfect and that's what I'm gonna put handmade coasters for sale. Um, I was thinking maybe a set of six for twenty dollars. Tell me what you think. A set of six or a set of four? Help me out, guys. Help me out. Tell me what you think. Let's see. Come on. Let 
No, some of them still stuck on there. Then I'm, after I get them all on here, I'm going to use the Mod Podge to seal it on there. Oh, nope, got to fix that L. All right, let's see. Did we get it? Got it. Oh, we didn't get my J. See, that's why I said don't be so quick to pull it up. The whole J came off except the dot. Hello right, guys. I think it's very nice, beautiful, beautiful. Two more, two to go. Well, I'm gonna come back guys when I finish these two, get these two on here and I'll come back and then we're gonna do the Mod Podge. Okay guys, we're back. And we have finished everything. These are the last two pieces I've done. So now we are about to use the Mod Podge, seal it in. Um, actually, I have some spray. Let me see. I have some spray Mod Podge. Let me see. this is clear cellar now I'm not sure if I should spray this first or put the Mod Podge on there first well I guess I could use either one because they both sand sealer and finisher so I'm gonna use this instead. Ugh, if I can get it open. Let me see if I have another one. I'm sorry guys. Whew, that was hard. Oh my goodness. That was extremely hard, <laughs> extremely hard. So I'm gonna do the top of this first. I'm gonna use generous amount. Because I want it to seal. wanted to seal even strokes so I'm gonna do the tops first and then I'll go back and do the sides because I'm gonna I'm gonna um, use my heat gun to dry these 
So I'm using the Mod Podge gloss. I'm using a gloss. Just to spruce it up a little bit. Make sure I get the edges. I stated before that Mod Podge is not my cup of tea, guys. So I'm not an expert with Mod Podge, okay? Not at all. And I'm not going to pretend that I am. But you don't know what you're good at until you try it. And sometimes, even if you're not good at it, it takes a couple of times doing it before you perfect it. Um, I don't know if that's going to be me, but I need it in my project. So I'm just going to keep working with it. And maybe eventually I will become better at it. We will see. I've been trying to get to this project for a time, for a minute. You see, this is how I'm doing it. And I'm gonna dry it, take a minute and dry this. With my heat gun. And then I'm gonna do the sides. Then I'm gonna do the back because when people use their cups, whether it's something hot or whether it's something cold. I don't want the condensation to penetrate, penetrate the, um, the coaster. This may take some time guys and I know you want to watch me but I know that um, it may take some time I'm gonna come back, okay? And I'm gonna show you how it looks dry and then I'm gonna let you watch me paint the sides and then I'll dry it a little bit and let you watch me and then I'll come back again. Look at this, this is what I'm talking about. People like to sit there, water bottles, glasses. And as you can see, look, thanks to the grandkids. I don't know if you can see that, but I got rings on. See, now you can see it. You see them ring marks? This is what I'm talking about. This is why we're making coasters. So now I got to clean all this off, get that bottle off of there, and hopefully I'll be bringing my coasters up here and we can prevent all of this. Okay, guys, we are back. We are back for the final part. Um, just want to show you what we're going to do. I went ahead and cut out let me show you this cork this um piece of cork right here um it has a sticky back um it is cork like the wine cork screws or cork tops and um, wine bottles that's what this is cork it is a sheet of cork 
And what I did is, uh, what I'm going to do, I went ahead and already, just so I could see what I, see what I was doing and where I was gonna go with this. I went ahead and I measured out the coasters. And what I'm gonna do is put it on the back, just in case, because what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna put these little legs on the back of my coasters because they won't be in a container. So I'm just gonna stack them on the table and when they sit on the table they're gonna have these little push pins right here this how the push pin actually looks this too comes at the dollar store if you want to get a closer look at that it's like velvet cushion and it's a stick pin underneath and what i did is i clipped off the pricky part um i clicked i clipped them off with some strong scissors. You might want to use wire cutters, but if you can see that, I cut it off and I hot glued, where I do it? I hot glued it onto the cork. So if my grandchildren find this fascinating, like, oh, what is this? Let me see if I can pluck this off. Bloop. I still have the cork on the back so that it won't scratch my table up, okay? But I like the little legs. It looks a little dainty to me. You can see the little legs. But anyway, I'm gonna show you an example. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish cutting out the rest of these. And what I did is lined it up, measured it up, Took it to the very edge because I don't want any of the cork hanging off or past the actual holster. And I took, just had a little um, carpet knife. And what I'm gonna do is score it like this a couple of times. Take my time because I don't wanna cut myself worst cut you could have is a razor blade cut or a paper cut hope y'all can hear my Christmas jazz and it should come out very easy if not just have some scissors on hand snip it right off just like that and I'm gonna try to keep the pieces that I cut out together. Um, just in case they're not all the same size. My coasters are not quite the same size. The piece that I cut out will be the exact fit. So that's what I'm doing. My handy dandy carpet knife. Do it like two times just to make sure it got a nice slice. Take your time, add a little pressure, but not too much where you slip and it comes right off just like that. Put that one with that one. I had also ordered some from Amazon. For future projects, like I said, I'm thinking about making a couple of these and putting them on um, Amazon Marketplace. Not sure if it'll sell or not, but we're going to try and see. We're going to try and see. Um, in time for the holidays. for the holidays very cute this is very cute very dainty very original for um, homemade homemade project okay see right here oh it did go there Thought it didn't go through quite right here. It didn't go through. So 
just take our scissors, fix that with our scissors, come off just like that, put that with that, one more, last one, and then I'm going to put it on the back, get as close to the edge as I can. Yeah, I got this sheet of cork as well from the Dollar Tree guys. I also got this from the Dollar Tree. And there, save this the scrap for future projects. I also have my glue gun. Um, and you want to take your time and peel the back so it has a sticky, sticky back. Take your time. I apologize for my washing machine, guys. I told you my workspace is a multi-purpose space. The laundry room and the utility room all wrapped up in one there perfect fit guys look at that perfect fit stick it to the back i'm gonna rub it down on the edge just so it makes sure it's i have one of these but i don't know if i'm gonna use this See if I can make sure there's no bubbles. It's a hard rubber roller. Just making sure that it is sticking to the wood but what I also do is rub it on the counter and slide it off the edge the edge of the counter so if there's any bubbles in there it's gonna smash them out fingers we good so already have a couple of these that's already clipped my cushion my cushion legs we're gonna put that back over there I'm gonna add just a little dot of hot glue and this is a high temperature Add it to the corner, push down so that it will take very well. Don't put too much glue on there because you don't want it to bulge out. But just enough to hold it on. Push it down, hold it, let the glue dry, cool rather. Get two more. This is like a felt. A felt um, material. Hold it down. You can see I just have one more to go. Don't have to be perfect, guys. Mine is nowhere near perfect. No 
nowhere near perfect. Hold it down. Let it cool. And it is done. Home. I probably should have had the O over here, the M here. But home. Okay. I've seen um, games on Facebook where you have to take the line and spell the word comes down go up and come down so it's still you you know what it's saying home okay but very nice got the cork back and the legs and this how i would stack them on my table just like this the good thing is this felt won't scratch the top of the second um coaster as well so we'll keep doing that out time put it on there and that's what I was saying remember I said uh, my black ran a little bit you take the best side or the worst side and that's the side you put your cork on so if you made some mistakes cover it up with your cork that's all Cover it up with your cork. I'm not going to use the roll. I'm just going to keep doing this. Hopefully, I won't drop it again. Oh, drop it again. Look at that. Shouldn't have said anything, but it's okay. It's okay, guys. Get four more push push pins put some hot glue on there there we go hold it on there while the glue cool Second one. Hold it down. Hold it down so that it don't push back. So that it will cool close to the port. third leg press it down plus the good thing is when I clipped the um, the pointy part on the push pin a little piece of it was still um of the stick point part was still attached so that kind of also helps stick into the cord let me see if i can show you see the little the little part where i clipped it still kind of sticks out that also helps out sticking into the cord so that's a good thing so don't be upset if you didn't get get it close enough. Um, it's okay if you don't. And you, some of you might not want to clip, maybe halfway clip the um, sticky point part, um, so that you can have some reinforcement going into the court. Okay, here's the third one. Let's get some of this. Let's 
See how they look stacked? See how they look stacked? And they will look real nice, even though I don't have a container for to put them in. It's okay because they still look nice stacked. Let's trim this up a little bit. Any excess hanging off. So I'm going to show you guys how it's going to look on my table once we get them all done. Of course, I have to go wipe the table off because the grands like coming in from school with their water bottles, their juice bottles. Uh, 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 hold up not quite lined up take your time that's why you know as you're putting it on don't push don't be so quick to push it down because you want to make sure it's all lined up want to make sure it's all lined up There we go. Now we can push it down. Make sure it's sticking very well. Happiness is homemade. Four more, and then we have one left. Ouch. This glue is hot, guys. I gotta hurry up before it dries. Before it cools, I mean. Got on my finger. can be so messy sometimes you have to be very careful Like I said, this will make a very, very nice gift for Christmas, birthday, any type of gift. Get well. Just thinking about you. Retirement. A retirement gift. Number five, working on number six now. You know, my sister is retiring next week, and I just believe I found a retirement gift. I found my retirement gift. Not this, but I'm going to have some retirement quotes. Some retirement quotes, especially made for her. Especially made just for her. You know, different quotes on her coasters. And...
maybe one and say, not my, let me take a sip. It's not my problem. I'm out to lunch permanently. Okay, guys, this is it. I'm going to let you see the final finale. This is the last one. Here they are. Let me get all this glue here. And I will show you. Stay tuned and I will show you. Let me show you. Let me see if I have a... if you was making this a gift you could easily just wrap it just like this hold on let me show you let's do it right guys let's do it right Look at this. That could be a gift. Look at that. And all this is is twine that I plaited up. Look how awesome that would be. That go my gift, guys. And look, the little buttons at the bottom. Well, guys, that is... This concludes my project, and I thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will see me the next time I upload uh, my new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace out.